So, for those who haven't read the story, sum up for us what the biggest problem is. What's going on? I'm trying to think about how to do that in a short manner. I guess that the background is that the government last year were under extreme pressure to get migrants in the country as quickly as possible because they had not done any work yep. during COVID to get our borders ready to be reopened. So they'd done nothing. They had a brand new work visa that wasn't ready to go until July last year. And by the time you get migrants in the country, it was sort of towards the end of last year. They had a huge backlog uh, and they were under massive pressure from uh, mostly from Adrian or who was raising the official cash rate. And every time he did, he said it's because we don't have enough access to workers. So uh, Michael Wood sent in a, a, a incident management team, which is a whole bunch of high level officials from MB into Immigration New Zealand to see how they could speed up visa processing. And their answer or their solution was, well, let's stop analysing risk so much and let's stop verifying documentation. That was the answer to get everything through much more quickly. It's we just won't bother checking. It'll speed up the whole process. That's right. Wow. Yeah, essentially close, close, close your eyes and hit approve. And that's all the stories you're seeing in the um, in, in media with, with a lot of immigration agents saying that our borders are compromised, that they're not checking or opening any uh, supporting evidence. Uh, and that this was all done by way of a general instruction to immigration officials telling them what to do. And now the minister is trying to claim that he knew nothing about this and that they were blindsided and he's, he's ordered an immigra- a, a, a investigation into Immigration New Zealand. Um, but I can tell you that all paths will lead back to the minister because I've been told okay. to senior officials look, at Immigration look, New Zealand, sound, they briefed him. This, as I said, sounds incredibly uh, concerning. And it mm. could create problems which will not manifest themselves till months or even years down the track. When people who are of poor character, who shouldn't be here, start uh, perhaps uh, uh, offending, absconding, causing problems in our society. It feels like something should be done right now. Yes, it should be done right now. And the answer is sitting right in front of the Minister, which is you need to start assessing risk immediately. You need to revoke those general instructions not to, to assess risk and verify documents. And they exist They exist as a now. document, those instructions? They do. Yep. Okay. They do. I have not been able to get a copy of it because <laughs> they don't tend to give me things, but it, that is a general instruction that has been issued. So they need to revoke that and start assessing risk properly. That's the first thing they can do. Um, but this is going to be a story, or not a story, it's going to be a problem, sorry, that it's going yeah. to be on our books for many years because I, I, I mean, I'm only guessing, it's hard to know, immigration have no idea that there are thousands of people in the country. Uh, and it's not just people who are potentially criminals yeah. or, or, or dodgy, but, but people who are being exploited, who paid thousands of dollars for a Yeah, it is a two way street. Yeah, it is a two way yeah. street. And we owe it, we also owe it to them. Uh, you know, to, to make sure that, that they're getting access to some work and can repay some of their, the debt that they've incurred.